morning everyone so it's a early start to the day here in Tulum we've just arrived at one of the most popular maybe the most popular cenote called Gran Cenote and that's why we've come early because we wanted to like beat the crowds and so far it doesn't look like anyone's here so yeah we might almost have it to ourselves we'll have to see and this place to enter is 300 per person and before we get in we just gotta take a shower so yeah cold shower. yeah cold shower before we go in so you don't have to walk very far to find this one shower was nice and cold right yeah very cold <laughs> good way to wake up how oh, cool there's only a few people here so even without the light hidden look at that color I saw a turtle in the cave. <laughs> you get loads of different shades, right? So over there it's like more of like a really light blue. It's kind of white. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it depends on the rock. Yeah, the it rock is. is white. Yeah, and then below us is like black rock. The caves are cool though, we need to go in there. Yeah, we should go with our snorkeling gear. Yeah, luckily we found the snorkel at the place we were staying at. Yeah, but we could rent them here as well. It's quite big this place as well. It goes all the way down there in another cave. And this is a big area to swim in. Gran Cenote. This is one of the most popular ones as well because it's so close to Tulum. Mm -hmm. It's one of the closest. Mm -hmm. And Tulum's like the most popular area yeah. in this whole region, I think. So that's why a lot of people come to this one. So we're gonna try the snorkel mess out now. Yeah. Yeah, they seem pretty good. They had flippers as well, but we didn't bring those. Amazing place. Yeah. It's uh, very different from the other one that we went last year because the other one was like open. So seeing the caves and and just diving, it's a different experience. Yeah, definitely worth bringing snorkels or renting them as well because only then you really see like how deep it is. And then we could see like the rays of light. Yeah, it's like when the sun hit. Yeah, when the sun hit, it's amazing. Before we continue, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark are a VPN provider that we've been using for the past six months. This allows us to keep a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping our data and information safe from potential hackers. It also allows us to access all 15 of Netflix's libraries. Since we can set our devices to any country in the world, it allows us to access all the films and series that are available. And it also allows us to bypass censorship. In certain countries, specific sites or content, even on YouTube, can be blocked. But by using Surfshark, we're able to bypass these issues. 
Surefire is the only VPN provider that allows unlimited devices on one subscription. In the description of this video, we have a link with the code Jumping Places that gives you 83% off and three months for free. They also have a month money back guarantee. So if you use it and then you decide you don't want to continue, you haven't spent any money. So on our way out, we just noticed that there's actually these other stairs to another part of the cenote. So you can get to it from the other one. There's like a cave there, you can just go through, goes all the way to the other side that we were at. Back in Tulum Centro now, we found this nice little local spot to get some tamales. That's the name right there. Our first tamales in Mexico this time, on this trip. Yeah, last time we used to eat them all the time. Every day at street yep. food. Yeah, one of our favorites. So here it is, we have like the, I guess it's kind of like a corn leaf or something. I'm not sure exactly. It's from the corn plant. Carol's is all vegetables and mine just has beans and these were 30 each. What's it made from exactly, do you know? Uh, something with corn. Something with corn. corn. Yeah, I don't know. Some exactly. big mix. Yeah. It's like all mashed together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Spices. Is that it? That's all you got? Yeah, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> Too spicy. We got some coke. <laughs> so we just picked up two bicycles here in the center of Tulum. Funny little ones, they don't even have brakes. I think you have to pedal backwards. And how much was it? 120 pesos. 120 pesos. For 24 hours. Yeah. yeah and we, this... we went to another place yesterday and it was 250 for 24 hours. So I think we got a good deal. Yeah, pretty good deal. Also comes with a basket, so I don't have to carry the my wet bag around so that's good and this is like the way everybody gets around to Lum pretty much yeah because the taxis are a bit expensive so yeah we can just drive our bikes and we're going to the beach right now so i think the beach takes around was it 20 minutes yeah something yeah something like 20 minutes so we're gonna check it out found our parking spot here on this tree I think it's for free I'm not sure <laughs> not sure if we got to pay for this parking and we're not even sure if this is the main part of Tulum Beach but it looks like it by the look of these buildings from what I've seen in photos we'll find out soon enough So we have no idea where we are. It's not the beach that we were looking for. I'm looking for the big beach. That's just one big strip. This seems to be like a small beach with beach clubs and stuff. Still a nice beach though. So check this out. Pretty wild ocean on this part. What is that, a hotel or a restaurant or something? I think it's a boat, hotel and restaurant. Hotel restaurant. Yeah. That's a pretty cool beach club here. What was the name did you say? Zulik. Azulik. Azulik. Azulik, I don't know. Got an interesting design. Yeah. Looks wacky. <laughs> oh, it goes all the way around as well. Yeah, I don't think there's a way this way. I thought it was just one big beach, like beach strip. Uh, no. I didn't know there was loads of different ones. Yeah, 
yeah, so this isn't the place we want to go. I spoke with the guy at the bar, that beach club, and I asked him where the big beach is, like the big strip, and he said it's further down this road, about five, 10 minutes on the bike. So we're going to go to that one. Tired? Yeah. Too yeah. hot for the mess. It's winter, but it's too hot. I don't know if we could do that in summer. Yeah, in the summer, it would be hard to ride on these things, I think. So you won't believe the mission that it was to get onto this beach, the main beach in Tulum. Probably took us about 30 to 40 minutes to get here because basically we were riding all the way up and down and the only way you could access is through beach clubs. But we don't want to pay any beach club, we just want to come to the beach. I don't know how much it would be, probably like $20 per person or something. We don't want to pay that, we just want to come to the beach but there's literally no public access. So we even spoke with the locals and they said there used to be public access, but now it's just all like private property. So in the end, we came across this like patch of land that looked like a garden center. It looked like they were planting, yeah, little plants to sell. We saw other people like parking their bikes and stuff to go through that, that place to the beach. So that's what we did and now we're here. So the only way was to go through private property. Pretty crazy, but yeah, we just want to come to the beach. I don't want to go to a beach club. The mission, Carol. Yeah. Oh, I think it's it's very nice to have beach clubs, but they also needed to have like a path that you can go and just go to the beach without having to pay or maybe pay for parking or something like that. Yeah. For just people that don't want to go to the beach clubs. Yeah, exactly. That's a problem in this whole region now, to be honest, from like Cancun all the way to Tulum, the Riviera Maya. A lot of the places are just private. So even though the beach is public, you can't get there because the land is private so they just force you to have to use uh, beach clubs and yeah i guess it's just going to get worse and worse So this time, since we're so sweaty from all that bike riding, definitely getting into this water ASAP. Super hot today, barely any clouds. All the previous days were really cloudy. Really beautiful beach though, look at that. Fine white sand, just like everywhere around here. That's our spot over there. <laughs> That's one of the beach clubs, one of the many beach clubs. They just go all the way on and on down there. Oh, that is nice and cool. though right <laughs> now that we finally made it it feels worth yeah, it yeah it is beautiful we haven't seen it this wavy on any other beach i don't think you can go sir yeah this looks like you could sir all the way out there look there must be a reef barrier because you can see it breaking in the distance so we're going to oaxaca in a few weeks and that's like the popular surf spot it's on the other side of mexico different kind of ocean that's where all the surfers go and we want to do more lessons, probably stay a few weeks there. That should be fun. So we thought we'd give our verdict on Tulum since this is probably our last video here and we've been here twice before. Mm -hmm. But this time I think we've seen like the main attractions like Tulum Beach which we didn't see last time and uh, one of the main cenotes. So what, what do you think you like the most about it so far? Uh, I think I like the, the area that we're staying because it's like there are some restaurants, nice restaurants and nice bars and 
It's not like super developed either. No, it's not like big fancy yeah. hotels. You have the local vibe and especially the area of the house that we stay is like a local area so we can still have this local vibe. Here in this area here it's more like fancy hotels and But they still cafes. do I think they still do a nice job though. Yeah, they like they keep do. it natural looking yeah. with like the wood and stuff like that. So they make everything nice. And even in the center, it's kind of like that on a few buildings or it's very colorful and there's like artwork and cool like, what is it, murals or whatever. Oh yeah, that's, that's a nice thing. Yeah, ev everywhere. So I can definitely see why so many people come here. And there are many things to do, different things, there's a beach and also there are lots of cenotes. Ruins, ruins, great food. Mm -hmm. And you can do water sports and many. Stuff. Yeah, loads of activities, but uh, I think the only negative thing is more just like probably like the price now It's going up a lot every year. So each time we come back It's more and more expensive if you read blogs from last year the prices are already different to, to Right now like the cenotes and the tours and stuff and then you also have like the taxi drivers that don't have the What is it the clock? Yeah, the meter I mean so you, they just charge whatever they want and it's always way overpriced and there's no Uber here. So yeah, they can just charge you whatever. So you end up spending quite a lot. And then stuff like here with the beach where they're trying to, they're basically trying to force out a class, right? Yeah. They basically just want the people with money here. That's all it is. So some other countries do that as well, but we've never had such a mission to get on a beach. Never had to invade a garden center before, that's for sure. <laughs> But overall, I can definitely see why it is super popular, but yeah, it's probably just gonna get more and more expensive and more buildings and stuff. So yeah, hopefully they don't destroy it, but at the moment, it is a great place. Yeah, so this was the way we accessed the beach. There's like a little opening in that fence. And then this is what I was talking about. It's like some sort of plantation or something. It's got these plants everywhere. I'm not sure exactly what this place is. I bet this lands like a hotel in about yeah, a, a, year a year or two. A year or two, sure. Huh? Surprise it's still here. That's it for this video, we're just gonna ride back now and rest and I think tomorrow we're gonna be heading to a place called Bacala which is supposed to be really awesome, it's south from here. We wanted to go the other times we came visiting this region but we never got around to it so yeah we're gonna do that and spend a few days there. So stay tuned if you like to see more videos here from Mexico, drop a like to help support us, follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.